It's being touted as the biggest urban wildlife restoration project in Australian history. A new national park in Western Sydney will soon be home to several locally extinct species. Conservationists are welcoming the announcement, that, but they say more needs to be done to protect the environment from developers. Every year, more houses are built near bushland in Western Sydney. Now native animals will also have a patch of land they can call home. Today we're announcing your very own Noah's Ark. Biodiversity is under immense pressure in Western Sydney, so to have this patch uh, protected and rewilded is um, just really exciting news. Shane's Park, situated between Penrith and Windsor, is home to 500 hectares of largely uninhabited bushland. In the next 18 months or so, it will be turned into a new national park, home to 30 species not seen here in more than a century. There'll be a few familiar faces and also some that are less well known. The eastern quoll, the bush rat, the bush stone curlew, to name a few. We want to make sure that this isn't just a home for new animals and returning animals and a place to protect uh, an amazing natural Australian landscape, but it's also a place that people right across Western Sydney and indeed all of New South Wales can come and enjoy. Guided night tours and walking trails are also part of the plan to turn the park into a tourist destination. I think that we all need to learn to value the diversity of bush that we have, to learn more about it, what lives in there. Conservationists say cats and foxes kill around 2 billion native animals in Australia every year. So to stop that from happening here, the park will be surrounded by a six foot high fence. It will be 10 kilometres long. Shane's Park is one of several feral free areas already in place or being established across the state as part of wider conservation efforts. The new park is expected to open to the public in early to mid 2023. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.